everyone welcome back to the greenhouse happy monday um, i'm out here by myself today because over the weekend our entire family got struck with some stomach bug issues and some colds and pretty much everybody but me well and one of the kids has been uh down with something so matt's in the house resting and uh he doesn't have much of a voice so he would just be out here to uh smile and look good and uh i guess i have to do that for him So there is so much wonderful stuff going on in the greenhouse, even more so than last week. We were hoping for some really nice weather so we could get some things planted outside, but that just has not happened yet. I have a feeling it's coming though. Our herbs right here are doing so, so well. I'm actually going to cut some of these green onion tops for our supper tonight. I think we're just gonna have spaghetti, but I'm gonna throw it in there because why not? They need to be trimmed or they're gonna start falling over. Look at that fennel, it looks so good. Um, and the sage, amazing. It's doing better now than it did all year last year, which is so crazy. Lots of the other herbs that were planted are starting to come up. The cumin is coming up. The parsley is coming up. The chamomile is coming up. I don't think we have any lemon balm yet. If we do, it's just like teeny tiny little sprouts. Um, no spearmint yet. And the calendula is up. The carrots are looking really good in the bed here. However, I did notice quite a few weeds. So we probably should get through here and weed them. But I just don't want to accidentally pick any carrot. Both the Norfolk spinach and the baby spinach is coming up well. We do still have this table here because I've been doing a lot of planting. So they aren't getting probably as much sunlight as they otherwise could. Um, but they're doing really well. The arugula is looking really nice. Nice and thick in here. I did not replant um, the mustard. I probably could. I have like four packs of mustard seed. Um, when I ordered it last, it was sent a couple years ago and they sent extra packets. So I think I could probably really thickly plant this with some of those since I have it. The red mustard looks great. The cutting lettuce is looking good. I did not thin this out. I'm gonna leave it. We don't have any tomatoes sprouted yet, so hopefully soon. We still have this tarp in here. I thought this would be long gone by now, um, but we still have it, so we're just dealing with it. Hopefully soon it can go. Onions are doing really well, and look at all these peppers. These are our bell peppers, this whole tray, and almost all of them came up. There's a couple that didn't. And I think last week I was showing you we had some moldy hot pepper seeds, and I was getting a little nervous. Look at all these little sprouts. So. I guess I did not need to be too nervous. They are all taking off. The other tray of bell peppers, they're just kind of starting to sprout now. So um, these are on a heat mat. So hopefully they do take off here. And the kohlrabi is looking really good. So up on top, I have our plants that are a little more, more cold hardy. So they're not under the tarp um, at night or when it's cold and cloudy out. This is our celery, our um, iceberg lettuce, our i think this one is cauliflower cabbage and broccoli and i really want to get these out um, i'm hoping in the next week or so i think i've said that for the last few weeks but we actually did get some discoloring on our broccoli it just seemed like it is not enjoying still being in this um, pot here so what i did is i mixed up just some um, liquid uh, organic kelp and sprayed that and water on here to kind of fertilize them. Hopefully it'll help give them a little boost. I just did it yesterday, so I'm not seeing anything yet, but um, the leaves that are green look really great. It's just these ones on the bottom that are kind of yellowish purple. So over the weekend, between being sick and everything, the kids came out and Leroy and Evan planted, looks like about 10 cucumelon plants. And they're hoping to put these around their fort um, I started some kukuzi squash, 
some American yard lawn cucumbers, and then a whole bunch of the Parisian pickling cucumbers. Those are our favorite. I have never actually started, at least not recently, um, cucumber plants from seed this way, but we had such an issue with those, um, I think it was like a cucumber beetle or a potato beetle last year, and that I kind of want to get them started so that I can plant them. And then worst case scenario, I can replant some if those get infected, like pull the whole plants up. I don't know. This is just me thinking about how I'm going to treat it this year to be more on top of it. Um, I did start watermelon. This a whole tray of watermelon, um, some cantaloupes and muskmelon. And again, I've never started these <laughs> inside before, but I'm hoping to get just a whole bunch. Um, we're going to plant these over by the bees across the creek. And I figured I can start a whole bunch and maybe we'll actually have good luck with them this year. I started qu quite a few pumpkins for the same reason. And then zucchini. I was hoping to do a whole tray of 50 zucchini plants. Yes, 50. Crazy, right? But now that we have those pigs, if you didn't um, see last week's video, we'll make sure uh, to leave a link down below. But last week we got three little pigs, Honey, Smokey, and Bob. And we're trying to feed them all organic and I know it's going to be kind of expensive. So I am planning on putting just a whole bunch of zucchini plants in the area behind the greenhouse here, just kind of a zucchini field. I'll try to keep the chickens out of that area this year. And I only had about, I think it's 21 or so zucchinis. So that's all I was able to get planted. And the reason I didn't have enough is I opened my saved seed and it was moldy. And it was just kind of like heartbreaking because, and not that saving seed is super hard, but I definitely worked to save that seed and make sure it was dry and all those things. But apparently it wasn't all the way dry and it did get moldy. It was the only seed that I had it was the only seed that I had saved actually in a packet that had gotten moldy. Some never made it to the packet and got moldy, but <sighs> getting better, right? And then our elderberry seems to be doing all right here. This plant I wasn't really sure of because the leaves were kind of dying off. We've been trying to just keep them watered and um, hopefully they'll be able to get plant outside soon. We did pick up some onion sets from just the store some red some yellow some white because we felt like we did not have enough onions started this year you know it's no uh thousand onions like we did last year so we're hoping that um we can get those out soon we're making a lot of new garden space this year and just lots of new uh things to plant a lot of the same but just a lot more we're just trying to better utilize our small space we have about two acres here on our homestead but quite a bit of it we would say is unusable and we're just trying to use more and more of it so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below glad you got to see me again i guess it's just me bye